Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to my third attempt at making this video. It's going to be a short one because I did my video. I got everything organized. I got everything put together and I made these four pieces. And then I, when I went back and checked my video, I discovered that in fact, my video had glitched and it didn't start recording until I was very nearly done with these. And then all of a sudden it decided to kick on and start the recording. So, yeah. So I could show you one of these finished. I just wouldn't close that up. But let me, let me go ahead and show you what it is we're making and what you're going to need. So in order to do this particular project, you're going to need a hole punch. You're going to need an off cut. And I have a lot of offcuts because I make my journals out of eight and a half by 11 inch sheets. When I have a 12 inch square piece that I want to use, I end up with a piece that's three and a half wide by 12 long. So this is what I'm using. So you're going to need a piece about that long. If you have an offcut, that's a perfect size to use. We're going to use those offcuts. The other thing that you're going to need is some sort of twine. I don't like that one. This, this will be perfect. Um, I am using baker's twine, but you can use embroidery floss. You can use just regular string. It doesn't really matter. So you but really this and this and hole reinforcers are all you're going to need. You might choose to use, I'm going to use a little bit of glue for my hole reinforcers because these are old, but if you have brand new ones that are fresh from the store, you probably won't need the glue. So let me show you what I just did and filmed and or didn't film like I was supposed to film. So all you're going to do with these are make these really easy flip downs to create hidden journaling spots that can easily go into your journals. And these can nicely slip into a pocket. And depending upon which way the pattern goes, this particular pattern, I would slip in this way. This pattern, I'd probably slip in this way. These are offcuts that I had from the, from the journals that I have been working on. If you are a regular member of my channel, you know that I have completed four journals in a retreat that I recently went to. Those have been going up and are now on the coffee shop. And uh, there is a fifth journal coming out very shortly. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm using my piece here. Now this is a little bit, I'm going to actually try very hard to not knock my camera as I bring my piece down. This particular off cut is, has a little kind of divot in it. So I'm going to take just a little bit more off of it. So this one won't be quite the same width as the others, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. They're probably not going into the same journal. Nobody's ever going to know except you and me. All right, so I'm going to come up about three and a half inches. I'm using my sheet here to kind of guide me, and I'm not measuring. It's approximate, but I'm coming up about three and a half inches and folding over. And then I'm going to come up another three and a half inches and I'm making sure that that one side is level. This side is not. I will trim it up in a minute. Okay, maybe we'll trim it up now. I have my little guillotine here. We're going to trim that up. Apparently I'm not. Sometimes I don't cut very well. And I'm trying to go through too many slices and my guillotine is just eating it up and does not like it. Ah, this was, I'll tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I think I probably should not have tried to make this video this, and get, it's just one of those. I'm filming at night because uh, the days have been very, very busy. Um, we did get a chance to see Wicked, finally. Um... Went with friends to see that. We have Thanksgiving coming up. I am very excited. Now I'm going to fold this over and 
I'm only folding it over. I'm, 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 now I left a little bit more here than I normally do. This is a little bit more than half an inch. Usually I leave, leave a little less than half an inch, but that's fine. At this point, you can round these corners if you want. And in fact, I did that with two of these. I rounded the corners. Uh, this one looks a little wonky because I folded it and then realized I had folded it in the wrong spot. So that'll require a little bit more work when I eventually get to putting it into a journal. But I'm not going to round this corner for the same reason I didn't round this one. With the plaid, I like the square edges because you have all these square angles. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. All right, I'm going to make my hole. And I'm just going to come in a little ways. I'm eyeballing it. You can measure it if you'd like. The reason I have my glue out, because I'm putting my corner rounders on and they're old. I think I said that already. I'm repeating myself. There we go. And I, mean, I could use the red one. Maybe I'll do that. I had made a bunch of them red at one point because I was doing a red um, tag and I liked it. So now I've got a little bit of extra red there. Okay. Glue away. We're almost done. So now I want to take my twine Again, whatever you're using for your twine is fine. I'm going to come up through here and I'm going to tie a double knot. So tie it once, tie it twice. You could tie it more times if you'd like. And then I'm going to trim off my excess there. And then this is the easy part. Ready? One, two, three. I could come around a fourth time, but I think, I think three is plenty. And then I'm going to just cut my end and I'm going to tuck it up underneath. And if you really want to, you can tuck it twice. You can make a nice little doodad there and you're done. That's it. It's that simple. It's a one, two, three fold. Tie a string, actually put your uh, hole reinforcers on, tie a string, and you're done. And look at these, how easy these were. All right, this is a very short video tonight because, like I said, I made a much longer video and I did all of these and then realized my uh, phone had glitched when I went to edit it. And you can see... Uh, you notice how my end, they're not the same. It's because I don't measure. If you want to measure, feel free to measure. It, there's nothing that says you can't. Three and a half inches, three and a half inches, fold over at about a half an inch, and you're good. All right. I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving this week, and I will see you on Friday. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.